Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for another full self-driving video. It says 12.3.5, supervised self-driving. Uh, we are headed to do our saluted drive tonight. Just got the update about an hour ago. And um, we're going to see how it works. If you can't tell, it's a little bit hard to tell probably. Uh, if you saw my last vid video at the Crazy Hill Test, we have a kayak on the roof. So it's a little bit different. So we're going to see how it does with a kayak. There is a, uh, a rope coming down to my trunk uh, to kind of hold down the bow. Uh, we're going to see if there's any differences on this version. The last version did it very well. So I'm really not expecting any changes, but we'll see. Obviously the speed is still 38 on this road. The difference also is it is nighttime. You know, you can see a little bit of light in the sky, but it's, it's basically dark. So we're gonna see if that makes any difference here. And it also happens to be, I think it's a full moon tonight, or very close to a full moon. You can see the moon coming up behind me. And this is gonna be interesting. So it's, it's awesome how how just how many updates they are putting out they uh they're just going every week it seems, seems like there's one per week uh, i always wish they would do like one per per every one every other week so you know it seems like it would be a more significant change but maybe they're training that fast now that they're getting really significant changes i don't know what exactly we're expecting on changes they don't tell us the change logs anymore i wish I wish we could see um, what they're expecting on the change log, but um, yeah. What what I can say is that the last version was phenomenal around curvy roads. It was really good. This one seems to have made the speed quite a bit more conservative. It, maybe it's because it's dark. I'm not sure. Because this is you know, it's going 43 right now. It should be going 45. That seems like a that seems like a slight downgrade. Uh, still going 43 around the curve. It should be going 45 and so down to 42. So it seems a little bit more. And now we're going up to 47, going out of the curve. I don't know. If you hear like a little whistle, it's it's one of the straps or something on the kayak is causing it to whistle. You got a little bit of wind noise with it. We are actually probably going to do some more self-driving tests with this this weekend this coming weekend with the kayak on do my normal route around the hinder spill and then Sunday I think I'm just going to do a um, or uh, go out and use it uh, go out and try it out hope it, yeah and everyone I hope everyone's having a fantastic day this is what day is it Monday so yeah Monday night beginning of the week uh, we have everyone a fantastic week we're gonna see if this turn up here is smooth as it has been in the last couple of times. Seems like it is going hot in this turn, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I think, I think for me it's fine. For other people, they would prefer it to go slower. The, it, it's it's interesting. I'm trying to pay attention to how it, it does it drive like me. That hasn't used my training data to drive like me. The thing is, I'm not sure I've ever driven on this road manually. I think I've always used full self-driving, funny enough. So I don't know how can it ever get data from me on this road. But going around other curves, I like to take curves fast. I have, I have a Model 3 and I'm gonna live in the mountains. So I like to take curves fast. So I, I though I, I think it needs to be careful in using my training data, just because it, it has a chance of making people uncomfortable. I tend to drive slower though if I have a passenger. If I'm by myself, I will drive faster. If I have a passenger, I'll drive more conservative and a little bit more chill going around the curves. Tell me what you think down below. How how would you would prefer the robo taxi to be, or would you just prefer to have a setting? You know, we're on average setting. My preference actually would be average is you know the mix of most people. Chills like. It's going the speed limit most of the time and it's like not making any excessive lane changes and not doing any drastic maneuvers. Chill is literally what it says it is. It's just a chill driver. Oh. oh. Wow, okay. It messed up. Um Car missed the road and it was about to hit a curb. So yeah, okay. That, oh guys, 
That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Oh man. That's that sucks. I I didn't really I wasn't really paying attention to the screen. I was like looking and like it was like okay, it's about to make the turn. And he just didn't make the turn. That's really quite unfortunate. That's uh, obviously a downgrade. It was I've never I haven't seen that hesitancy I don't think one time with um full with version twelve. So this is, seems to be a regression in this version, if you ask me. Now that's obviously pre preliminary results. So who, anyone else that has it, go ahead and let me know know how it's working for you. Um, it, it it changed the route automatically. I'm gonna have to okay. Since I, last time I stayed here, the house next to me like kind of turned on their lights and watched me because it, it made it look like I was like stalking their house or something. So I want to make sure. Um, that's not going to happen but let's go ahead and you know get back across the highway and what we're going to do is just let it i'm just going to let it go um i'm not going to try and reroute it this time or do anything like that as you can see it wants to go take a right it's been wanting to do that for ages and i haven't let it do it and this is the first time we're going to let it do it we're going to try and do it and see what happens when we take a right here. Now last time, the last video, it turned the right blinker on and said it was gonna go right and then turn left. Um, which was weird. I think it's actually gonna turn right this time. No one coming. It's creeping out really well. That's good because there's a blind turn right there. It's getting really good at being able to detect when it can't see. What I realized is it can't see the cars when coming and it needs to creep out further. It's getting really good at that. We're going over some railroad tracks. I've never actually driven on this. Oh man, that's lumpy. I got a stop sign, which it kind of half stopped for and is kind of casually going out on the road. <laughs> uh, it made it. This is technically probably, if you want to be the safer way to go, this is technically the safer way to go. I think it's less comfortable for the pass passenger and it, it, I think it's totally safe to go this way. I don't think it needed to go this way. Also, definitely shouldn't go more than 25 in here. There's 50% of the time I go to Saluda, there's a police car sitting here ready to pull people over. So it's just a matter of looking at a draw if, if you're speeding here. There's a police car right there. But uh, are they parked? Yeah, I think I think they were I think they were watching for people speeding. They're they're kind of off the side of the road. They get ready to pull on the road if they if they see one see one, someone speeding. But yeah, 20 degrees appropriate. Any faster than that, and this area is not, especially in a school zone. It is a weekday school zone. Speed limit's 20 mile an hour, and there's a police car right there. So we're just getting disengaging. Car is speeding in a 20 mile an hour school zone. There is a police car right there. I'm not getting a ticket. <laughs> so, guys, this is not good. There's a police car sitting right there. And I will not speed. I'm not speeding in a school zone with a police car. Not happening. Um, it needs to fix that. This is unacceptable. Like this, obviously, already, this version by sheer disengagements is substantially worse than the previous version. Um, so whatever they changed was not good for my area. 11.3.4 was the best version I've ever had. 11.3.5 so far is not good. Maybe you can blame it on the kayak? I don't think so. I don't think so. It was having no issues on 11.3.4 on the kayak. I did some pretty extension driving across this area. Same, same roads, no problems. So I don't think it's the kayak. I think it's the version. So that's really quite interesting how it seems to be slightly more timid around the curves. I, I've seen no benefit so far. I, I, I'm just gonna say how it is, guys. That's, that's just, it's just what I'm seeing. Uh, obviously, this is not my final drive. I'm probably, due to the nature of my work situation, I'm probably not gonna be going out anywhere until the weekend. So we'll see if we get a hot fix or if we're just gonna have this version for a week. We'll see what it does when I go into town on Saturday and see if it does anything 
a little bit better. Um, you might want to see other people's videos if you want a little bit more uh, of optimistic outlook on this version because you're not getting it from me right now. Uh, there, it, it, I've seen nothing better, unfortunately. Uh, it needs to fix the speeding problem. If, it, if it's a school zone, and unless you are on the assertive profile, it should not speed. Or more than like at least a couple mile an hour over, 10% over. If, if you're on average, it should not speed more than just a few mile an hour over. If you're on chill, it should not speed at all, in my opinion. I don't know if they want to do a heuristic to do that, or if they want to train it on specific drivers who drive more chill than other specific types of you know, driving behaviors. I don't know how they're going to do it, but I know it's possible, and I know Tesla has a very smart crew, and I think they can make it happen. Um, until they take ownership of tickets and damage to my car, then it needs to change. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. I want to hear your opinions down in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.